guys, it's Andrea and I am back with another video. As you guys can tell by today's title, we are going to be talking about fear and anxiety as a new nurse. So before jumping into this video, guys, I just kind of want to put a little disclaimer out there. Um, of course, everything that I'm about to speak on is just from my own personal experience. Of course, we are obligated to our own opinions. Um, of course, based off of your own experience, if you are no longer a new grad nurse, but this is just everything that I feel like um, for my own perception, what I could give to you guys. Um, I can say a lot of the things that we fear um, are just basically unknown. Things that we don't know are going to happen, things that we're unsure of, um, which causes a lot of anxiety. Now, my own personal opinion, and I hope I don't upset anyone by saying this, but um, a nurse who um, is too comfortable or never had fear or never had, uh, I, w I don't wanna say anxiety, but was never like super anxious um, and going to work as a newer nurse is a nurse that I low key kind of fear. Like if you're too comfortable, <laughs> that's where mistakes can happen. So, um, it is completely normal. It is actually, um, it's normal. Everybody, every new nurse, I mean, even now me as a nurse, and I'm sure nurses who have been in the game for a while, you're still going to have some type of, um, not fear, but caution as you should, because again, a lot of the times when you're too comfortable, um, you feel like you know every single little thing, that's where mistakes are made. So it's completely okay. Um, it's actually a good thing that you are anxious because it just makes you more cautious. That kind of leads me actually into my first point uh, by saying that this, you know, anxiousness feeling that you're feeling, um, this, this feeling of, you know, constantly wanting to double check yourself, it doesn't necessarily go away, which is a good thing because you want to always be cautious. You want to always make sure that, you know, you are taking the correct steps. And if you don't know, you ask somebody who um, would know. Um, so yeah, just basically saying like, it doesn't matter how long you've been in the game. You probably nine times out of 10 are going to have that anxious feeling. It probably won't be as bad, um, but you're going to have some type of anxiousness um, as a nurse. Uh, now kind of jumping into the actual tips that I have for you guys. Uh, the second thing that I'm going to touch on is just showing up earlier to work than you're supposed to. Um, especially like if you're still in orientation and you're still trying to kind of understand like what your role is as a nurse um, and what's expected of you. I can say one of the things that would probably help a lot is if you actually show up earlier, even if you show up before your preceptor, even if like you're off orientation now, just showing up before you're supposed to. Um, that way you can kind of get a good look, maybe log onto the computer, like be comfortable, put your stuff away, um, you know, see what patients you guys have. If you can get your assignment early, um, not getting report early, but like getting your assignment early to see, you know, what patients you're going to get. Just so that way you can kind of gaze the chart, kind of get an idea of, you know, what your day may be like, try to maybe plan out your day. Um, will kind of relieve some of that, that anxiety. Cause as I said before, um, a lot of that stuff, a lot of that fear that we're feeling comes from the unknown, not knowing what's going to happen, um, just causes us to be super anxious. So if you can kind of plan out your day, see what patients that you're going to get, um, see, you know, what kind of procedures, what kind of medications that they're going to be taking throughout your shift, it will kind of help you relieve some of that anxiety and just make you feel more comfortable about your day. And the next tip that I have for you guys is just know your resources, be it your coworkers, be it your charge nurse, be it if you have management that's super like hands on. Uh, just knowing who your resources are and what your resources are. Um, I know for maybe some med search floors, my dishwasher's on, God. But I know for some uh, med search floors, especially like because you guys are giving a lot of medications, um, I believe there is like a certain um, program app. I don't know what it's called because we necessarily don't use it on my floor. Um, there is a certain area on the computer where you can kind of see what uh, medications, like information about medications, like what not to get with these medications. Anything you need to know about those uh, medications will be in that specific app. So make sure you know where that's at, where you can um, access it. If you want to know about your policies, um, you want to make sure you know how to, you know, access your policy so you know that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and how you're doing it. Um, but again, just knowing, you know, who you can reach out to, where everything is that is going to be helpful to you. Um, will just help you tremendously. Another thing that I feel like is going to be super helpful is just knowing your unit, knowing, you know, where everything is. Like if you have multiple, um, so what is it called? If you have multiple like stock areas, like where you guys supplies, supplies room, that's what it's called. If you have multiple supplies room, 
um, if you have multiple like just multiple areas of your unit if you work on a bigger unit it's going to be super helpful to know where everything is so I know when I was on orientation there was like this day where we kind of did a tour of the hospital we kind of did a tour of our unit just so that way we know where everything is because again why we fear the unknown if we don't know where things are we feel that just builds more anxiety like especially if you have to get something done in a timely manner and you're trying to go find xyz and you don't know where xyz is at that's just going to make you more anxious so just knowing where everything is like something as simple as that can just make your day go that much better so if you have the time to like maybe tour your unit even touring the hospital because sometimes you know we have to take our patients have to go off of our unit so just knowing where things are in general is going to really help you and i'm not saying that you're going to learn it all in a day of course it comes over with time but just having a surface level understanding of where everything is will help you a lot um the next thing i definitely have to say is to have kind of like a quote unquote nursing buddy not saying it's somebody who has to be your you know best friend but somebody who is just there for you um now it be your preceptor or just maybe somebody that you went to nursing school with and you guys ended up on the same floor just somebody that you can kind of confide in to um you know you be there for them and they be there for you because nursing it can be hard and you can have hard days um, just like how I said in nursing school, nursing school is one of the things that I feel like um, you can't go through alone. I feel like your first year of nursing is something that you cannot go through alone. So just having somebody there for you um, as your, again, quote unquote, nursing buddy is going to just help a lot. A lot of times when you're feeling overwhelmed, you just need somebody to help you talk it through. Um, so if you just have somebody that you can go to. And they can be that um, person for you. And again, you be that person for them. It will help you guys both out a lot. Um, so that's something I definitely, definitely recommend. And I again, it can be anybody. It can be, again, your preceptor. It can be somebody who you graduated with. It can be somebody that you just met that you guys just instantly clicked. Um, but just having that buddy there for you will just make, again, your day go so much better. Next point is something I want to stress a lot um multiple times so if you guys don't take anything out of this video i hope you guys take this know that this feeling is temporary this terrible bad shift that you're having is temporary because guess what everything must come to an end um i mean your morning may start off terrible you may have so much to do and you feel so overwhelmed and you just don't know why you chose to be a nurse this and that and the next trust me i get it i was there i had those same feelings but just know that the shift has to end. You don't, this is not a forever thing. This feeling is temporary. Um, and just keep in mind that every bad shift must come to an end. It's, it's going to get better. You have another day to make it better. Um, and this is not something that is forever. So it's going to be okay. Just know that what you're feeling is temporary. Next tip that I have is just being more intentional with how you spend your time like driving into work. So um, I would not recommend sitting, I mean, I guess to each their own. But what I'm trying to say is, um, what I was gonna say is I don't recommend sitting in a car full of silence on the way to work. <laughs> but again, if that what makes you, if that's um, what puts you like in a positive mood, then so be it again to each their own. Um, but just be more intentional about what you do driving to work. So if you need to pray, like I, my routine has been the same since day one. I always listen to gospel music as much as I love my trap music and this and that and the next. As much as I love it, I will not ever listen to that kind of music going into work. I personally have to listen to gospel music before I get out the car. I must say a prayer. Um, and that's just been my routine since day one. And it'll forever be my routine no matter where I work um i just i have to do that so just finding your happy place and putting yourself in a positive mood being optimistic and just feeling like honestly you can do whatever like you're a bad a nurse and you're gonna get through this shift and everything is gonna be okay so if that's you listening to trap music um getting pumped up getting amped up because i know a lot of nurses do that i mean if that's what you got to do that's what you got to do but just, you know, finding something that puts you in your place and ready to take on, take on your ship kind of like distracts you from your fear and your anxiety that you're feeling that, um, you know, you're not even concerned about it. You walk into that ship ready to go. Now, this next tip that I have actually is from personal experience. <laughs> um, I want to definitely, definitely say watch the consumption of energy drinks and caffeine that you take in. 
Um, me personally, because I already know that I am an anxious person, even like without nursing, I know I can be anxious about certain things. Um, adding caffeine, especially energy drinks, can times 10 what you are feeling. And I say that because I remember when I first got off orientation, I was still new to night shift and I drank a bang. And I don't know why, but I drank the whole bang. When I tell you guys, I was super jittery and it was just making me feel more anxious. I remember like my eye watch was telling me my heart rate was like through the roof. Um, and I, again, like I know it's because I already was anxious, but I know that the energy drink didn't help. Not saying that not to drink caffeine or not to drink energy drinks because I still do it to this day, but just watching the amount that you actually take in and knowing your limits and know what you can handle. I feel like I'm talking about alcohol, but just knowing your limits to know what you can take in because that can really just heighten your sense of anxiety. Um, and what we're trying to do is obviously limit our anxiety. So just be careful with what you're consuming. Um, again, I'm not against it because I still do it. Um, but just because you get a big can of bang or energy drink or coffee doesn't mean you have to drink the whole thing. So just keep that in mind. Okay, and then the number nine tip that I have is that um, something that I feel like I'm saying a lot in my uh, videos here recently is that if it makes you uncomfortable, you need to do it. Now you can do it with some type of supervision, like of course, if you're still on orientation with your preceptor or if you're off orientation, maybe with another nurse, like your nursing buddy. Uh, but if it makes you uncomfortable, you need to do it because there's a reason why it's making you uncomfortable. Um, if it's a skill, like if you're like hesitant on putting in IVs or catheters or just doing anything, you need to do it because you need to become comfortable with it. And a lot of times, like I've said before, um, in order to grow, you have to be uncomfortable and you have to put yourself in those situations where you don't want to be in just so that that way um, you can become comfortable with it. A lot of times, um, a lot of the things that we have to learn while being a nurse is just exposing ourselves. Like we need to expo expose ourselves to these certain tasks and skills that we don't want to do. Um, so that way we can actually become comfortable with it. So if it makes you uncomfortable, do it. Um, of course, it's going to cause a lot of, you know, you're going to feel anxious in the beginning, especially if it's something that you're not used to doing. But over time, there will be no fear. There will be no hesitation. There will be no anxious feelings. Um, when it comes time to do that skill or task or whatever it is that you're hesitant in doing um, because you've gotten so used to doing it. So just putting yourself out there. Um, and again, that's just something that comes with time. Still to this day, I have certain things that I'm hesitant in doing. Um, but I know that in order to become comfortable, I have to do it. That's just the way that it works. So definitely, again, something to keep in mind. The last tip that I have, guys, is something that I stand by and will forever, forever, ever stand by is asking questions. No question is a dumb question, especially if it's going to save your patient. Um, and, you know, ask anything like ask whomever, whoever you feel like is qualified to answer your question. If they don't know the answer, then you go to the next person. But no question is a dumb question. And a lot of times, again, when we don't know the answer to something that can make us anxious, because why? It's the unknown. Um, yeah, just go find the answer. And I promise you, it'll make you feel so much better, especially when it's the correct answer, the right answer, the answer that probably you low-key already knew, but you wanted some reassurance on it. It just makes you feel that much better. So definitely, again, resorting back to um, one of the tips that I had earlier, just knowing your resources, knowing who you can go ask those questions to. If you need to go ask your nursing buddy, ask your preceptor, ask your charge nurse, ask another coworker. I don't care who, who it is. If you have a question that needs to be answered, go ask it. So yeah, guys, hopefully these 10 tips are things um, that can help you overcome your uh, fear and anxious feelings that you may be having as a newer nurse. Again, these are things that I feel like helped me when I was still a new grad nurse. Um, and again, even to this day, some of this stuff I still do. So just know again, that this feeling is temporary, it's, it gets better. I promise you it gets better. Um, and everything is going to be okay. You're a bomb nurse. You're a nurse for a reason. You got through nursing school. Like everything is going to be good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am, I don't necessarily want to make a promise to you, but I do want to start posting more new grad, um, kind of tips and encouragement videos, because again, I know, I know how, um, anxiety provoking it can be. And maybe it's not talked about a lot. Just maybe some nursing YouTubers and Instagrammers try to paint a pretty picture of nursing and make it seem like there's no negative things that come with nursing. Well, I'm not that nurse. <laughs> I know 
that I wouldn't want to paint a pretty picture for somebody. Like, oh, this is this is everything I dreamed of. And yeah, no, I'm not going to do that because that's not how it was for me. And not saying that y'all's experience is going to be anything like mine. But I also just kind of want you like I want you guys to have a heads up. And I want you guys to be able to navigate and to be able to conquer your first year of nursing. And I want you guys to kind of learn from my, um, not mistakes, just kind of learn from my experience. And if I could help anybody out, I'm more than happy to. Um, but again, I just feel like it's a topic that's maybe not touched on a lot. And that's that's why I'm here, to touch on the topic. <laughs> so yeah, I said all, said all that to say, um, I definitely will be making a whole lot more of new grad nurse videos. Um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up. I want you guys to know this is a safe space for newer nurses, new grad nurses. I mean, I'm still a newer nurse myself, but this is a safe space where you can definitely like go down below in the comments if you need to vent, if you need to say X, Y, and Z about, you know, what's going on. Know that we as a community are here for you guys and especially me if you need to hit my DMs and like vent about something. Uh, this is my Instagram. Follow me down below and just shoot me a message and you know i'm here for you guys that is all for this video you guys definitely give it a thumbs up consider subscribing if you aren't already and i will see you guys in the next video <laughs>